Today is uh, the second day of the RA South East Zone Championships. So we've got about 140 youngsters taking part. Um, some of them are looking for selection in zone squads this winter, and some are just here for a really good time. Competitors this year have been really good. We've had all levels of ability. So in the main fleet, we've got some guys who will be sailing in the national squads this winter. We've got other guys who are looking for places in zone squads. We've got guys trying to consolidate their place in zone squad. But also just as important are the, lad the lads and lasses that are picking up the back of the fleet and just enjoying their weekend. We're here with the regatta fleet at the RWA South East Zone Championships and um, we've got 20 youngsters who are at their first main event and um, their first main regatta. They've, uh, most of them haven't taken part in any racing before so they're learning um, the basics of racing, getting some coaching and uh, hopefully working towards taking part in the event next year. We had a great morning with the regatta fleet, there's 20 youngsters. Um, most of them haven't really sailed in these conditions before. It's quite blustery out there. We're getting up to the top end of the Force 4. Um, they all did really well, only had a few cap sizes, and then um, just had a really good fun time out racing. Today we have just been sailing around and practicing something called gut blasting. It's really fun. It was pretty windy and gusty, but it was still really fun. The regatta fleet is the perfect way for these children to have their first step on the ladder for regional racing. The John Merricks Trust is in partnership with RYA and RYA on board and they are supporting 10 children across the country to present 10 boats to sailors that are showing potential, who want to continue their sailing and wouldn't necessarily be able to continue due to financial constraints. The John Merricks partnership is a fantastic uh, partnership with the RYA because it's giving youngsters who wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to to get their own boat or um, sail regularly at their, at their local sailing club, it's given them an opportunity to get out on the water um, with their own boat, own their own boat and, um, and make the most out of it going forward into progressing their sailing. We've had absolutely tons of um, applications that's absolutely perfect. We, need, we now need to go back to the office and select those children. We are going to try and select three children from each event which is going to be incredibly difficult and from those entries we'll be asked to complete an application form and from then we've got to make the difficult decision of which kids are going to be selected the boats. Once the children have been selected we will monitor those children for the next two years, watch their progress and see how they develop. After the two years the boat goes to the club that the child initially came from to help the club with their youth training and additional children that want to come through the pathways. We've had a great day out on the water here at Queen Mary Sailing Club and I'm looking forward to getting back to the office to look through all the applications and select our 10 children. If you're a member of a local sailing club or training centre and would like to apply, then get in touch with the RYA and on board.